Hello, this is Veto121, and welcome back to Lost Odyssey. And in this episode, we're going to be exploring, hopefully, the rest of the Black Cave here. There's still some items we can get. It's kind of a tricky na uh, cavern to navigate through. And, uh, yeah, we can find something on the ground over here. And find a cure-all. And over here... Uh, yeah, over here on the ground, if we had that tre treasure hint from, uh, Goza or whatever, not Goza, but, um, Tosca, there's one of the treasure hints. Yeah, we can get the curse blocker, which is going to be extremely, <coughs> extremely useful in this, uh, well, there's going to be a boss fight coming up, and, uh, they use a lot of curse attacks, so I want to learn anti-curse with, uh, my four immortal characters. That way they can have anti-curse, along with anti-petrify anti too, is going to be very important. So, uh, there you go. For now, I'll clip that on <coughs> on Kime so he can start learning it. And, uh, let's keep going here. Uh. Yeah, I don't think I want to go this way yet. Do not want to go this way yet. Okay, I'll backtrack to the next chest or item I find. Alright, let's see if one of these pitfalls actually lead to a chest. Hopefully it's one of these. Let it be this one. Yes! Good guess. Yeah, I had no idea. Yeah, this takes us back to the foul swamp, but we can get soul medicine for, uh... for jumping down there. So yeah, that's pretty cool. And we can make it back to that area again if my character would just jump across like he's supposed to. But yeah, there you go. And I don't think there's any other treasure in this place. I have to double check, so I'll be right back. Actually, you know what? I feel like showing off another battle here. And uh, yeah, we're going to be taking on some more dark sorcerers here. And uh, yeah, I have the killing machine equipped on... Uh, what is it? Seth. And actually, I hope I don't, I don't want to screw this up. Okay, that's Dark Sorcerer A. And then I'll have Seth attack Dark Sorcerer B. And of course, I don't want to use magic on the uh, Dark Sorcerer. I just want to take out one of these Night Flyers here. And then for the... Uh, shit. Yeah. I want to cast Gamble on this Zagan and back because Gamble will ignore Roll. So yeah, there you go. And, uh, yeah. Cast force on this fucking thing. And then with... Oh, yeah, that's right. I had the circlet on her. But, yeah, you could... Switching out accessories in battle is very useful. Especially, uh, with mages in the back row. If you want to restore their magic points, you can equip a circlet. And, uh... Yeah, if they don't have anything to do for the rest of the battle, they can just defend. And they can restore magic points that way. And that's... A way to keep yourself, you know, healed up and good to go as far as magic points uh, as you go through long, long dungeons. So that way you don't have to rely on items as much. So yeah, let's go ahead and target this thing. Yeah, screw that up. It helps you to get perfects, obviously. Yeah, I didn't get perfects there. Oh well. Take out the pesky bat. Hopefully Cook can finish him off. Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> wow, just barely alive. Uh, shit. Yeah. Kaim attack this one. Damn. <laughs> Talk about bull. Yeah. Well, got a little unlucky there, but oh well. Yeah, I don't think I have cook anything for Cook to do for the rest of the battle, so I'll just put the circlet on her and have her defend to get her magic points back. There we go. Yeah, pretty good damage there. And 
yeah, I'll just have Kaim attack. And have everybody else defend. Yeah, and this guy, these guys like to use annoying multi-targeting spells. Goodbye. Yay. Oh, hey. Cook's got level 5 white magic. Huh. I might have to skill link with her. Anyways, yeah, I've just been screwing around here in the Black Cave. And, uh... Yeah, as you go through the game, you definitely want to skill link. I mean, obviously you don't want to skill link, like, all the skills of the characters. Like, if a, if a character has, uh, level 4 spirit magic, you don't have to link level 1 spirit magic to be able to use level 1 spirit magic. You can just link level 4 spirit magic with your immortal character, and when they... Yeah, as you can see, enables use of spirit magic up to level 4. So if they have already learned, like say, in Cook's case, now she knows level 5 white magic, I can skill link level 5 white magic, and I'll be able to use all white magic up to level 5 if I skill link with her. And of course, as Cook levels up, she'll get more skills, like level 6, level 7, level 8, you know, and so on. And then of course there's other skills you can skill link too from the mortal characters. So yeah, you wanna you wanna keep that in mind as you go through this game and obviously you kinda learn a lot of the same skills from accessories. I mean some of them are worthless. I mean other ones are good. Like obviously if you have uh let's see what's a good example here. Like, if you have level 1 composite magic, but you also have an accessory that teaches you level 3 composite magic, you don't really need this accessory anymore to teach your immortals anything. So, there you go. And, uh, yeah, I'm just going to be uh, fighting around this area and trying to teach characters curse. Well, whatever, I meant anti-curse, but you know what I mean, I think. You know what I mean. And, uh, yeah, I think we've gotten pretty much all the treasure we can get here in the Black Cave. I'm just gonna be kind of screwing around in this episode. So, whatever. Oh no, look out! Alright. Yeah, this particular battle here, when we got two Zangans and a Idi or Aiden back or whatever. I'm just gonna go ahead and attack. And, uh,. Yeah, I'm going to use Gamble on the uh, guy in back. This guy actually can put stone on you, and he can put curse on you. So, uh, yeah, you want to take this guy out as soon as possible, actually. And, yeah, I don't have a chance in equipped with anything here. And hopefully Gamble can take that guy out, because, yeah, it's pretty nasty. Oh, I forgot to... Crap, I clipped the wrong ring. Ha! Ah. Yeah, as you can see... Yeah, luckily I have anti-petrify on most of my characters, so... The only one I have to babysit is Jansen. Alright, so far so good. Oh crap, yeah. Yeah, that'd be a little bit better here. Maybe a little Cure Petrify on Jansen. And yeah, I have nothing else for Jansen to do in this battle, so I'll just go ahead and... Shit. Yeah, I forgot to unequip Cook. God damn it. Well, whatever. I'll still defend with him.
And that should be it. Flexibility is amazing. Candy from a baby. I don't know why Kaim always says taking candy from a baby makes him sound like a uh, child molester, but I don't know, whatever, that's just me, I guess. Anyways, Kaim has now learned anti curse, so I can, yeah, I don't need to teach anybody else cut down. Cut down is a pretty cool ability. I might have to show that off pretty soon here. If the next battle I run to is uh, run into is appropriate, I think. So uh, yeah, let's keep going here. Let's keep going. Yeah, I, I know I'm kind of backtracking, but I think I might have missed a treasure here on the first floor somewhere. Might have. I mean, I'm I could be wrong. In fact, I think I am wrong. Yeah, I d I'm definitely wrong. That's all right though. Yeah, I'm just gonna be screwing around trying to get anti curse for all my immortal characters that way they'll have it and yeah because it'll be very very useful <coughs> this does not look good you still complaining Jansen okay I suppose this is as good a bad as battle as any to show it off uh yeah killer machine on time and one of these I'll attack. And crap. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> oops. Where the hell is it? Oh, here it is. Yeah. Let's go with cut down. And crap. <laughs> Jeez. Getting all my uh, equips screwed up here. That's what I wanted. And uh, cut down. Here we go. Demon one. No. Yes, I want the killer machine. <laughs> Jeez. And. Let's go with a little spirit magic for that guy. Just have her defend. Okay, I think we're good to go now. Figured I might as well shut down, show off the uh, cut down ability. Yeah, pretty useful ability actually. And you have a lot of pesky enemies in the front row. And you're trying to take out one in back. Pretty useful there. Ah. Uh. Oh, come on. Yeah, that was bullshit. Goodbye. Hate those guys. I hate bugs, too. Or bats. Jeez, are you kidding me? Twice in a row you miss? What the hell is wrong with you? Actually, there was one battle where he missed like three times in a row against these frickin' bats. I know magic won't miss. Fucking Christ, man. It appears I've still got a lot to learn. And that is all for this episode of Let's Play Lost Odyssey. In the next episode, we will try and escape the Black Cave. This is Veto121. See you next time.